Johnson is a physiotherapist. He was contacted by Saru, which is a South African rugby union, to give the Sevens rugby players a massage during the rugby tournament that was held in Cape Town during December 2022. Johnson hires 13 masseuses to perform this duty. Okay, so he's a physiotherapist and he employs or he hires 13 masseuses to help with massages on the day. Now it says, um, study the table above and answer the questions that follow. Show by means of calculations that the income for a single massage is 135 rand. Well, the table might be a bit confusing, but let me explain. When they say number of sessions, they're meaning that there's 13 masseuses and they're each going to give one massage for that day. Okay. So there were 13 massages done in total. And so there were 13 massages done. This was the total price. So if you divide those two numbers, then we get 135 Rand, 135 Rand. And that's what they said. Then it says calculate the values of A and B. So A is over here. So can you see the relationship here? If there's one session, then they need 13 misuses. If there's two, then then there's, well, there's 13 masseuses in total, but they each had to do two massages. So there were 26, um, I guess 26 massages that were done. Then, so this number multiplied by 13, this number multiplied by 13, this number multiplied by 13. So you can just take this number and multiply it by 13 to get A. So it'll be eight multiplied by 13. And that'll be 104. Now, to calculate B, well, we know now that to go from this number to this number, you multiply with the price of a massage, which is 135 Rand. So you could even test this yourself. If you take this number and multiply it by 135 Rand, you would also get that. And so if you take this number and you multiply it by 135, you end up with 5,265 Rand. This question says, complete the formula to calculate the total income per session. Well, how did we work out these values over here? What we did is we took this number, no, sorry, we took this number multiplied by this number. So it's gonna be number of masseuses multiply by income for single massage, income for a single massage, which is this number here. They're just asking us, how do you calculate this value? So all we did was we took this one and we multiplied it by the income for a single massage. If you wanted to, you could also change this to 135 Rand. That's also fun. This question over here for six marks. Oh, and there's another one for six marks. Okay, things are going to get more exciting. Prove that the total income for the weekend, if they start working on Friday and finish on Sunday, will be 78,975. There are 15 sessions per day. Okay, so they're going to start on Friday and finish on Sunday. So let's assume that they're going to work all weekend. Okay, so they're going to work on Friday, Saturday, and they're going to work on Sunday. They're going to do 15 sessions per day, 15, 15, 15. And so you've got to think about this. If this number here was a 15, then remember your number of masseuses is going to be, um, remember how we went from, because remember number of sessions per day, they said that there's 15. And to go from this number to this number, we said that you have to, multiply by 13. So if we say 15 multiply by 13, that'll give us 195 um, masseuses per day. Then you're gonna, that's per day, so you're then gonna multiply that by three. So you're gonna say 195 multiplied by three, and that, because it's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, which is 585. And then that means there's 585 massages taking place. So to work out the total income, you're going to take that multiplied by the cost of a massage, which is 135 
And if we work this out, we get exactly their value. Thank goodness, 78975. This question, last one. Johnson pays each misuse 1,000 Rand for the weekend. Okay, um, and 50 Rand for each massage that they did. He needs to rent a room at the Cape Town Stadium to perform, which costs 4,800 Rand per day. Calculate his total expenses and express the total income to total expenses as a ratio in unit form. Wow, that's a good question. So we've got to try to figure out, let's go figure out what Johnson's expenses are going to be. Okay, so let's go work out expenses. So we know that there are a total of 13 misuses that are each going to be paid a thousand rand. So that's already a thousand multiplied by 13, which is 13,000 rand. That's just for um, that part over there. Then, now we need to look at, we're going to look at this part over here. So remember, there were a total of 585 massages that we calculated from Friday to Sunday in the previous question. Remember, we said that there were 15 sessions per day. That's what they said over here. But then the number of misuses, we, you, we, we said we'd multiply that by 13, and that was 195. But that is per day. And then we had Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So there's 585 massages taking place. He pays 50 rand for each one as like a bonus. So let's see how much he pays in total, 29,250 Rand. And then he also has to pay 4,800 Rand per day to rent space at Cape Town Stadium. So for three days, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, he would spend 14,400 Rand. So the total expenses is gonna be the 13,000, plus 29,250, plus 14,400. And that'll give us a total of 56,650. 56,650. So that's the expenses. And then what is the total income? Well, we worked that out in the previous question as 78,000. Uh, 975. So they said calculate his total expenses and express the total income to the total expenses expenses as a ratio in unit form. So we take the smaller number, which is the expenses, and we put it, let's just leave out the R for now, like that, and then we put it next to the larger number. Now when they say unit form, you have to make the smaller number become a one. So we will divide by 56650, oh, and what you do to that side, you're also gonna do to this side, and that's gonna give you one, two, 